Daniel 1 verses 8 to 10. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king, who hath appointed your meat and your drink, for why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? Then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king. In this passage, we see that Daniel is reluctant to eat the portions provided by King Nebuchadnezzar. This would be mainly due to the fact that this would have been sacrificed to Babylonian gods. Hence why Daniel would not partake in this consumption. While the provisions would have been great, this would have gone against the Hebrew faith and Mosaic law. In Leviticus 20, we see how God uses distinction for the Jewish people with other nations and kindreds through matters of life such as dietary restrictions. Let's read what God said to the Jewish people. Leviticus 20 verses 24 to 26. But I have said unto you, Ye shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it, a land that floweth with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, which have separated you from other people. Ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean, and ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. 